All right, guys, Dave Dean back again with another quick one. Uh, this one's going to be on MQA, and we're just going to head right into title right now. And I'm going to hit play. All right. So I'm just going to unmute this. You can see it's on digital quacks right now. Unmute it. You can see there's no music playing, right? So obviously, this is digital coax. I got the digital coax cable, the AudioQuest Cinnamon hooked up right now. And then I got my AudioQuest 3.5 to RCAs connected up here for the analog part, right? So you can see if I switch over to analog, no problem, plays no problem, right? But through Quaxial Digital, it doesn't play whatsoever, all right? So I'm just gonna pause this. We're gonna get out of Tidal and we're gonna go into the Feel music app, right? So the only album that I have on my DAP that I've downloaded, so this is from HD Tracks, that's MQA, as you can see, is this one of my favorite Linkin Park albums? It's it's an excellent album, right? And um, I'm just gonna hit play on here. All right, so you can see it switches over to MQA on here. So it's uh, 24 bit, 48 uh, kilohertz, right? And you can see the symbol going up up there, right? So you can still see I have it on digital coax, but absolutely no musics. Out of coming out of there but if i switch over to analog no problem all right back to digital coax all right so let's go into the settings because a lot of people that have made comments to me they're like oh you just have to switch it in the in the feel music app to bitstream right so we'll go into the settings over here click on settings and then we scroll down and you can see right here mqa spdiff you can see i already have it on bitstream right because normally you would go into, normally if you go into analog out of here, you want it on decode MQA, right? And then you just hit confirm. But you can see I already had it on Bitstream and there was no music, right? So just to show you on both of them that there's no music, just getting out of settings in here. We're going to go back into this and we're going to hit play again. Watch it switch to MQA, MQA. Digital quacks, nothing but analog. Right? So you guys you guys can clearly see that's usually the setting, right? That people are saying, well, if you switch it over to Bitstream, then it's going to play. But uh, obviously, I just showed you. I already had it on Bitstream. Just for this video purposes, just to show you, it's not going to play. So the only way you're going to get MQA out of here is if you're going analog, which is the 3.5 to RCA into your DSP, right? Above us all. And that'll be fine. It'll, you don't have to worry about it, right? Um, but if for those people, because there's a lot of people out there that are still curious about dApps and maybe their streaming platform of choice is Tidal, right? Um, well, on Tidal, there's a ton of music now that's MQA, right? And... Um, and I mean a ton, right? And I subscribe to Tidal. I'm still subscribed to Tidal now, but a lot of the times I'll use their free months, their three months that are free or whatever, because you always get emails for it. And then I use it for like when I'm testing electronics, right? That way, because the majority of the people that I see on my channel, um, for the most part, they're either they're either Tidal guys or Apple Music, right? It's one of the two. And there, I would say that there's more Tidal people than apple music honestly like on my channel from the, the comments that i get and of course obviously cubuzz or how i don't even know how you pronounce it but because we don't it's not even available i think it's cubuzz or something like that but that's not even available here in canada so i can't even uh i can't use that app here right but a lot of people use that too but i guess they don't have as much music variety on there uh i would say apple music has more variety than title like more more stuff to pick from but they're pretty close for the most part but Anybody that's thinking about getting like a FIO DAP, and I'd say probably the majority of the DAPs out there that have a coaxial digital output that you want to run into your DSP, just be aware that MQA is not going to work, right, for you. And to me, like I said, I can go to Apple Music, and, and this is what I use now. This is like the same album. It's just got different artwork on it. This is actually from their studio albums, right? So this is all their albums. So you can see... I have it on digital coax still. I'm just going to hit play. All right. No problem whatsoever. 
So that's one of the that's one of the other reasons I switched over to Apple Music myself personally is because I don't have to worry about oh is this song gonna work is that song gonna work if I'm going Quaxel Digital right uh, to me the the majority of the time I run my M17 is through the analog uh, output anyway so I don't have to worry about that if I if I am on title I can play anything and same thing with Apple Music but if I'm using Quaxel Digital and I'm in Apple Music I don't have to worry about it either right but if I'm on title then I have to worry about what what music I'm downloading because it's not going to play any of the MQA stuff on there, right? And then there's nothing more irritating than you're going through. You, you got two songs that play, and then the next five that you downloaded, you forgot were MQA, and they don't play at all, and you got to skip right over them, right? So I just wanted to do a video just to show everybody the only way you're going to get MQA out of the file DAP is to run a 3.5 to RCA into your DSP, but I know for the most part, for any kind of like, you know, entry level dApps, mid price dApps, the majority of the people that run those, they want to go coaxial digital into their DSP so they can use the DAC and all the goodness that are in their DSPs, which are usually better than like a lower end dApp. Um, I'd say most of the DACs are on par. Like if you're going into like, say, you know, a thousand dollar DSP and you got a thousand dollar dApp, you know what I mean? I think they're probably pretty equivalent anyways. Um, but you can always check the stats on whatever DAP you got as opposed to whatever DSP you got and kind of like figure out how you want to run it. But I always say at the end of the day, um, always run both cables just in case you want to hear the difference between the, the two, between the analog, like a 3.5 to RCA and then a coaxial digital. Um, because all the, pretty much the majority of the DAPs, all the FIO DAPs you can do that with. Um, and I'd say a there's a lot of other dApps out there. Some of them don't have coaxial digital out on some, some of the dApps. Some of them actually have, uh, the optical Tosh link out of there. Right. But it's going to work the same, same way. Um, you know, the majority of the people out there, depending on what, like, and I don't want to put a dollar figure on there. It's, it's kind of one of those things you just have to test out yourself to see what you prefer. But I know when, once you go into like the flagship dApps, like the Fio M17, chances are you're probably going to run it analog anyways, right? So you get all the goodness out of the dApp that you bought. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to do that, one, uh, you know, a short, quick video on MQA. And just to actually show you guys, the only way you're going to get it is out of the analog output, right? That's it for me, guys. We'll see you on the next one.